Most people experience unwanted, even bizarre thoughts, images, and impulses from time to time. However, some individuals suffer with a special type of unwanted thought intrusion called obsessions. Obsessions are recurrent and persistent intrusive thoughts, images, or impulses that are unwanted, personally unacceptable, and cause significant distress. Even though a person tries very hard to suppress the obsession or cancel out its negative effects, it continues to reoccur in an uncontrollable fashion. Obsessions usually involve upsetting themes that are not simply excessive worries about real-life problems, but instead irrational concerns that the person often recognizes as highly unlikely, even nonsensical. The most common obsessive content involve one of the following. Contamination by dirt or germs. Losing control and harming oneself or other people. Doubts about one's verbal or behavioral responses. Repugnant thoughts of sex or blasphemy or deviations from orderliness or symmetry. Compulsions are repetitive somewhat stereotypic behaviors or mental acts that a person performs in order to prevent or reduce the distress or negative consequences represented by the obsession. Individuals may feel driven to perform the compulsive ritual even though they try to resist it. Typical compulsions include repetitive and prolonged washing in response to fears of contamination repeated checking to ensure a correct response, counting to a certain number or repeating a certain phrase in order to cancel out the disturbing effects of the obsession. Approximately 1% of the Canadian population will have an episode of obsessive compulsive disorder, commonly referred to as OCD. The majority report onset in late adolescence or early adulthood. OCD tends to be a chronic condition with symptoms waxing and waning in response to life stresses and other critical experiences. Symptoms of OCD include presence of one or both obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions and compulsions that cause marked distress are time-consuming or significantly interfere in daily activities. Content of obsessions and compulsions that is not restricted to concerns associated with another psychological disturbance, such as the preoccupation with food in an eating disorder or guilty ruminations in major depressions. Symptoms are not directly caused by the effects of a substance or general medical conditions. Depending on the severity of the symptoms, OCD can have a profound negative impact on functioning. In severe cases, obsessive thoughts and repetitive compulsive rituals can consume one's entire day. Like other chronic anxiety disorders, OCD often interferes with jobs and schooling. Social functioning may be impaired and relationships can be strained as family and close friends get drawn into an individual's OCD concerns. There is no known single cause of OCD. Various genetic, biological and psychological factors increase susceptibility to anxiety in general rather than to OCD in particular. It is uncommon for individuals to spontaneously recover from OCD without some form of treatment. Behavior therapy is the most effective treatment for most types of OCD. It involves experiencing the fearful situations that trigger the obsession and taking steps to prevent the compulsive behaviors or rituals. 76% of individuals who complete treatment between 13 and 20 sessions will show significant and lasting reductions in their obsessive and compulsive symptoms. Up to 20% of people with OCD will refuse behavior therapy or drop out of treatment prematurely. One of the main reasons for this is a reluctance to endure some discomfort that is involved in exposure to fearful situations. 
More recently, psychologists have been adding cognitive interventions to the behavior therapy treatments involving exposure and response prevention. Referred to as cognitive behavior therapy, or CBT, this approach helps people change the thoughts and beliefs that may be reinforcing obsessive and compulsive symptoms and can help individuals feel less fearful of exposure and response prevention exercises. Also, the cognitive interventions can be particularly helpful if a person is struggling with obsessions rather than compulsions. Together with exposure and response prevention, the CBT approach has been shown to be effective in offering hope to individuals suffering from OCD. To find more information about Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, please visit the following URLs. To find a registered psychologist near you, visit the following pages.